What's up everybody? It's Ennis here and welcome to the south of France. On this week's episode, we're touring this incredible estate also known as Palais Venetian. This exquisite property features beautiful interiors, an indoor pool, a nightclub, and a backyard that is truly stunning. And on top of all that, the property itself gets phenomenal views of the Mediterranean Sea and the city of Cannes down below. Now, specs of the home, we got nine bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, 32,291 square feet of interior space, built on a 6.18 acre lot. And this property is currently on the market for 120 million euros, which is around $141 million. As always, we will leave more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing broker, McGray and Sons, for giving us a chance to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now, let's begin our tour. From the street level, we have those massive gates opening up to the driveway that takes you to the property. And as you're driving in, everything is beautifully landscaped. This estate is so grand. And like I mentioned earlier, 6.18 acres of land. So you have beautiful grounds, outdoor areas, water features, incredible backyard area. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And without a doubt, one of the most exquisite homes we've ever toured on this channel. Now that we're at the end of this first initial driveway, it brings us to this point. We have this walkway that goes to the backside of the property where we have a bird's cage or aviary. And eventually the land slopes down to this lower section where they have hangout areas for the kids, zip line, barbecue area. And right at the bottom, we have this massive opening for your helicopter. You have a helipad here, which is even more astonishing because when you own a home at this price point, you either own a helicopter or use a helicopter. So it's nice to have an outdoor space like that for your convenience. Now, continuing our tour, we have this driveway now taking us to the motor court. I love the cobblestone finish and the two-tone that they use, which frames this driveway beautifully. And the two-tone contrast continues into the courtyard itself. Again, everything is beautifully landscaped. And as you're coming up to the house, you can actually see the elevation difference, all these terrace gardens. I mean, the house from this angle looks stunning. Of course, we have this massive water feature right in the center. But before I talk about this section, I actually want to take everybody this way. We got a really cool amenity on my left hand side. You have a full size tennis court with AstroTurf finish. And right next to that, you can actually see the caretaker's home off of the entry. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody back to the motor court to talk about the estate itself, beautiful Italian architecture, and to be more specific, it's Venetian Byzantine style architecture. I love these high column details with the ionic corbels, roof line, railing details throughout. I mean, the scale of this property, this stucco and stone finish, and this massive water feature off the entry is truly one of a kind. We've never toured anything like this ever on this channel before. We have two entry points to the driveway that takes you to the lower level where we have the subterranean garage. We're gonna see that in a bit. 
And focusing on some of the closer details, on the left wing, we have the guest quarters of this home. And on the right wing, we have this section with steel case windows where we have the common areas, indoor pool, that all flows to the backyard. Again, we're gonna see that in a bit. Now we have this wide exterior staircase that takes you to this stunning property and the scale here with these columns, this covered entry with hand-painted frescoes underneath is truly one of a kind. You have marble floors with the inlays. I mean, this is stunning and we have the front door here. And now let's go inside. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. We got beautiful natural stone floors throughout with the marble inlays all these columns and this is your grand foyer two-story ceilings here with the molding details stunning chandelier right in the center of this room and if you look all the way to the top you can actually see the ceiling fresco and the massive skylight roof assembly bringing a ton of natural light to the entry of this estate now on my right hand side we have all the guest suites that we're going to check out in a bit but first i want to take everybody through this opening to check out the reception or your formal living room area. This is without a doubt one of the most exquisite and elegant spaces we have in this house. The scale of this property and the rooms throughout are just astonishing. I mean, look at that chandelier right in the center with the ceiling medallion. And then you have that hand painted ceiling, molding details. Then you have ionic columns with corbels. I mean, just the details in this room alone. Floors, natural stone with the marble inlay. Furniture set up all custom to this house. And of course, we have all these French doors opening up to your amazing backyard. And honestly, the backyard of this property is truly one of a kind. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I want to say we've said this like a few times in the houses we've toured uh, in France so far, but we see a lot of homes like, that try to recreate this aesthetic in Los Angeles. But this is the real deal. This is the real deal, Mikey. I mean, this is phenomenal. Yeah. Now, I wanna take everybody this way through these arched openings. We flow straight into the next room, which is your secondary seating area. Again, still very formal, right? But this room has a little bit more warmth. I love all these bookshelves that they have throughout the room. Piano around the corner. And again, just like the other room, ceilings are all detailed out, chandelier. I really like these glass speakers that we're gonna see throughout the property. And of course, you may be wondering, where's the TV? It's actually embedded into that bookshelf right there with a the push of a button. It just comes out, so it's super cool. And I appreciate that because although this home may look kind of old school or kind of timeless, it was actually recently completed. So everything you're seeing in this house is brand new. And they have technology throughout the house, but it's so seamlessly embedded into the walls and cabinetry that you get this timeless look, but you have all the functionality you need within the home. Best of both worlds. That's right. Now, Mikey, we are in the formal dining room area. Now, this room is beautiful. I love all the intricate molding details, hand-painted ceilings, and we have toured a lot of dining rooms on this channel. We've toured a lot of good homes, but this dining room definitely takes the win for me because of the scale, customization. I mean, look at this table set up here that sits 14 people. In fact, look at all the hardware and plates. Everything about it is so custom. Fabric on these chairs, chandelier in the center, wainscoting on the walls. And just like the other rooms, we have all these French doors again, flowing out to your patio space that leads to your amazing backyard. Now, Mikey, we have a service hallway there, but I want to take everybody this way to kind of go back to the entry of this property. That way we can take the other hallway that connects us to the right wing of this home. We're back at the entry and following this hallway here on our right hand side, we have the glass elevator that goes to all three levels, staircase on each side and going through this opening, we have this hallway taking us to the right wing. This door opens up to the staff quarters and coming here, that service hallway that I mentioned earlier, Mikey, it starts on this side. This is where we have the second elevator that goes to all three levels and wraps into the formal dining room area. Now, Mikey, you ready? We have this door opening up straight to the main kitchen. It has a really interesting layout, two islands on the back, columns in the center wrapped with cabinetry, and we've got a massive island up front that we're gonna see in a bit. To establish where we are, this door opens up to the hallway that we just came out of, 
and on my right hand side we have more cabinetry and right in the center we have a lock cornu rotisserie which is super unique on my left we got more cabinetry as well with a lock cornu fridge I've never seen that before, so I wanted to point that out. And as we go this way, this whole kitchen is sectioned off with this really unique mosaic tiles throughout. Now, Mikey, let's start with this island design here. By the way, this whole kitchen is built by La Cornue. I didn't know that La Cornue makes cabinetry. Obviously, they make great appliances, but if you look at the countertops, built-ins, inlays, it's all their finishes. You can actually see these bandings that they have on the corner of the drawers. And in fact, on this leather inlay design right here, if you read underneath, it shows you the La Cornue branding, which is super cool. We got all these open shelving details here, a lot of stainless steel, two built-in countertop sinks, and of course, two dishwashers here. This, now, whole, this whole thing feels like very like cookable. Like you could have, you could cook a lot of food in here. Like all the, all the islands feel like butcher blocks. Yes. Like you're supposed to just chop directly on them, right? Exactly. Uh, I don't know. There's, there's, uh, and even behind me, there's, there's a lot more, you know, appliances. It's very commercial grade. I mean, every detail is so well thought out. And we got the second island here, two fridges, induction in the center with a griddle and another sink. Again, you have the La Cornu branding underneath, all open shelving. And Mikey, let's focus on this side. This whole massive island design, again, is built by La Cornu. And you can actually see this light blue color that they use, some of the cabinetry they have. You see how they have accessories inside. Every bit of it is so thought out. And we're in France, Mikey. I mean, La Cornu, it's a French brand. French are kind of known for having good food. You know? Exactly, and I guess good appliances. In fact, if you look uh, to La Cornu branding right there, Mikey, underneath that you have the name of the estate. Very cool. Very cool, right? So this is the center of the island. We have the vent right above us. I love this light blue purplish kind of colored theme. And they went with that on the countertops as well with this blue granite countertops. Just stunning. I mean, I can go on and on and on without a doubt. One of the most timeless, exquisite kitchens we've ever seen on this channel. And we got two more that we're gonna see later on. Now, this whole space flows to this section. This is your entertainment space. I mean, it's all open, flows to your backyard, gets ton of natural light. We have two massive skylights above us, again, lighting up the space. And it's right next to your kitchen as well. First section I wanna cover here is the seating area. I love this light color furniture setup, all facing the backyard. All these steel case windows are opening up. You have a chandelier above and right behind that, we have this dining area. Again, scale is astonishing. I love that they went with a little bit of a colorful finish here. Every single chair has a different pattern. I love this light purple color that they have for the dining table, two chandeliers, and again, that skylight is bringing a ton of natural light. Now, since we're right next to the pool, we have this door here opening up to your small spa. I say small because you have a couple more spas throughout the property that we're gonna check out in a bit. We have the water closet here. This door opens up your sauna with the fiber optic lighting. And behind me, we have a spacious walk-in shower, double vanity setup, and this door opens up to the side of the property that leads you to the backyard. That way you have an easy access. Now, getting back out and right next to your dining area, we have the second seating section. I love this blue U-shaped couch that is facing the front of the property. And the theme here, if you look at the floors, Mikey, you can actually see the marble inlay with the circular design. And they follow that pattern on the ceiling as well with the skylight, chandelier above. I mean, look how exquisite this seating section is. And we have so many throughout the property and all these casement windows looking down on your helipad. Zip line is right there, your grounds, water feature, it's an experience to be here. And I assume they, they kind of intentionally mirrored the shape of each of these skylights with the furniture, right? We have a exactly. circular couch here on a circular skylight and a rectangular table under a rectangular skylight. I mean, Mikey, skylight. look at the floors there with the mosaic inlay that follows the outline of the skylight above. So I guess this kind of thing is probably planned before they even break ground, right? Way in advance, yeah. correct. They know they're gonna have a dining table right under the skylight. You know how people say custom furniture? This is true custom furniture. I mean, every bit of space was designed and every furniture follows that design layout. Now, 
Right behind me, we have a staircase going down to the lower level where we have an indoor pool. We're gonna check that out in a bit. But if you follow this staircase, it actually takes you to the rooftop deck that we have that is right above us. You have beautiful outdoor seating sections there and you get the amazing views of the Mediterranean Sea. So I wanted to point that out. Now, we're not done with the main floor. I wanna take everybody back to the entry so we can check out the guest suites. We're back at the entry and on my left hand side we have this hallway taking us to the left wing of this house. We have an opening here that takes you to a coat closet and two powder rooms because this house is built for parties and it's a nice convenient spot to have. And continuing through these double doors we have another spacious hallway. First guest suite on this level starts here, king size bed, custom furniture throughout, Rooms are super cozy. I love the hardwood floors. And around the corner, we have a full bathroom with a tub setup. Now, getting back to the hallway and continuing our tour, it brings us to this spacious seating area dedicated for the guest suites. We have four of them in total, again, starting from those double doors. And it's a nice seating section with French doors opening up to the backyard. We have a billiards table, seating section over there with a curved TV. Again, ceiling details. Every bit of space in this house is super elegant. Now, we have the second bedroom right here. Again, pretty good size, king size bed. I love the parquet floors throughout. This one also has a full bathroom with a built-in tub setup. Getting back to the seating section, Mikey, we got two more rooms to see, and I wanna explain how this guest quarters section works because if you follow this door here, we have an exterior door entry. That way guests can come in here without going through the main entry of the property, stay here and go into the main house when they need to. That makes sense. Now, we have this door opening up to the third guest suite. Starting here, we have the bathroom. Very spacious and elegant. You have natural stone floors throughout, again with the inlays. You have your vanity here. Design in this house is quite uniform with the stones and you have your water closet there with a bidet and a massive walk-in shower, of course, with a rain head above. Now, going into the bedroom, this room is more spacious than the two guest suites that we just saw. This one also has hardwood floors, parquet design, and I love the pattern because each one of the room actually gets a different kind of design, which gives character and identity to each one of the guest suites. This one also comes with a king-size bed, custom furniture throughout. You have a seating section up front, desk on the left and plaster details on the walls, vaulted ceilings. I mean, this is amazing. Really nice. I really like that uh, big lamp behind you. Oh yeah, I mean, it's massive. Yeah. Look at the scale here. Yeah, it's good. And Mikey, we got to show this. We have a cabinet here with a pop-up TV. Now, let's get out of this guest suite. We got one more to see. It's right around the corner. Again, this house has a traditional layout and I love how they dedicated this entire wing to the guests. Now we have more built-in closets here. Mikey, let's quickly take a look at the bathroom here for the fourth guest suite. Again, inlaid floors, vanity design, built-in tub setup. This one is facing the backyard and they carried out this darker marble all the way into the water closet, as well as the walk-in shower with the rain head above. Now going into the bedroom itself, again, very spacious, king-size bed. We got a seating area up front, desk set up on the side another pop-up TV, and this bedroom is also facing the backyard. Now that's pretty much it for the main floor. I wanna go back to the formal living room area, open up the French doors, and check out the backyard. We have these French doors off of the formal living room area, opening up to the amazing backyard. I'm currently under the covered section with the column details, and on my left, we can see all these French doors from the guest suites opening up to the backyard. Now I'm gonna go through this bridge to talk about the most unique feature of this home. We got this massive pond right in the center of the backyard or almost your entire backyard. It's super tranquil up here. You have koi fish inside. In fact, you can actually swim in this pond as well. Super cool. And right in the center, we have this platform for you to just sit down, relax, put outdoor furniture here, do whatever you like. In fact. That's what they did right there. And it's crazy, we're surrounded by palm trees, beautiful landscaping, super private, and that's the Mediterranean Sea right there for you. I don't know if it gets much better than this, honestly. Yeah, and that sound, the, the, you can hear that kind of water sound throughout the whole property too. So 
Isn't it, it amazing? Added little benefit. I mean, truly, we've never seen anything like this before. And while we are here, I want to briefly talk about the exterior architecture of this home. Beautiful column details with the ionic corbels. I love the covered patio space off of the entry with the roof line. And if you look above that, you can see these marble sculptures that we have on the roof line. In fact, we have it on the front facade of the home as well. Looks super unique. And we have all these French doors from the first floor and the second floor opening up to the amazing backyard and the views. Now, Mikey, before we leave this platform, this bridge right here with a pushover button actually tucks into the platform. That way you can actually disconnect yourself from the main home and just hang out there. Well, or that, or they have a little canoe here. So if you want to canoe around and get a close up look at your massive koi fish in here. You can easily do that. You can do that. Amazing, amazing property. All right, let's continue our tour. I hope this backyard tour doesn't take like 20 minutes. It's going to be a little bit. It's going to be a little bit, right? So now we're currently under the covered patio space. We have all these French stores off of your formal dining room area. You're right next to your pond. You can actually see the size of, of the fish here. I mean, these are the biggest koi I've ever seen. Yeah, I was going to say, these are the biggest koi I've ever seen as well. Yeah. Incredible, right? You have water features. The whole backyard is super tranquil. We have another outdoor seating area here, a bunch of outdoor dining areas. And this is the entertainment section that we toured earlier. All steel case French doors opening up. You get that indoor outdoor flow. And this is where you have your main pool. Now we have seen a lot of amazing pools on this channel, but I don't think we've ever seen a pool this size on this channel. This is mind boggling. This is the size of like a nice hotel pool. That's right. Yeah. It's like a commercial size pool, all clad with tile, very sleek, very contemporary. I love that transition right there where you have kind of like these rock finishes and you have your infinity edge pool here right next to your koi pond. I mean, the view of this pool and the backyard from up top looks incredible. It looks unreal. Now, Mikey, entertainment space, second floor, that's the balcony that we mentioned earlier, looking down on your backyard. With the skylights. That's right, with the skylights. You have outdoor seating section here, and right next to the pool, we have this deck space filled with sun beds and umbrellas. This is where you lounge, entertain, and I mean, look at your backyard from here. It looks truly sunny. Now, you may think that's it for the backyard, but it's not. If you look behind this koi pond, you're going to see a few walkways taking you to the backside of the property. Let's go check that out. We have the walkways coming to this staircase here because this part of the backyard is on a lower level. This staircase takes you to this decking space and right in the center we have this massive hot tub. I think this is the biggest hot tub I've ever seen in my life. We have these crazy water features, awesome views. This section alone can easily qualify for a good sized backyard. And this is just part of, little part of this amazing property. This is incredible. Yeah, if I saw this at a hotel, I'd be like, this is the craziest hot tub I've ever seen a hotel have. This estate feels like an exquisite bespoke boutique hotel. It really does. All the outdoor spaces, rooms, right? You have built-in seating here, and it doesn't end here. We continue. We have an outdoor bar area here with induction cooktops, sink, pizza oven on the other side, and right across from that, we have all these sun beds, umbrellas, nice lounging area right next to your hot tub. Now, you may think that's it for the backyard, but it's not. We have this door opening up to a spa where you have a walk-in shower, steam shower, water closet, kind of everything you need for this section of the backyard. I mean, overall, this is phenomenal. I've never seen a property like this, neither a backyard like this before. I'm kind of speechless. Yeah, this is truly the craziest, like most feature and amenity packed uh, property we've ever seen. Without a doubt. And that wraps our tour for the backyard. Now let's go inside and check out the lower level. All right, everyone, here we are on the lower level. Staircase from the entertainment space brings you down right here. And on my left-hand side, we have the gym surrounded with these steel case windows facing the front of the property. You have your techno gym equipment, Pilates machine, kind of everything you need. And it is right next to your indoor pool. I mean, look at the scale here. This pool is incredible, all clad with mosaic tiles throughout. You have mirrored ceilings to make the space feel a little bit more spacious. And those three windows, Mikey, 
those are in your main pool that we just saw early at the backyard. This is phenomenal. All right, we have this door here opening up to a bathroom and a spa on this level. You have your steam shower, water closet, vanity setup, everything you need for your indoor pool area. Overall, this is a great space. And the fact that you get an indoor pool this size is truly phenomenal. Now, wrapping up our tour here, we have these double doors opening up to a long hallway that takes us to the other wing of this home. We have natural stone floors with the inlay design. And throughout this hallway, we have all these doors opening up the service hallways, utility access, which are not really something cool to see, but I wanna take everybody here because we got a couple rooms that I wanna show everyone. This is your service hallway with the elevator access, second elevator. Few of the staff quarters are also located on this level. There are seven bedrooms in total for the staff. And we have this door opening up to the chef's kitchen. Now, this might be the most impressive chef's kitchen we have ever seen on this channel. First off, look at the scale here. We got multiple islands with this massive stainless steel appliance design island right in the center. I mean, the scale of this thing is incredible. All custom built by La Cornu. I love these polished chrome details. You have stoves and induction cooktops on both sides. Massive commercial vent above. Two rotisseries on this side with the built-in fridges. I mean, this is truly phenomenal. I wanna keep looking and talk about other details, but I'm gonna keep it brief since it's such a big estate. We have more base cabinets here. Again, all La Cornu, built-in sinks, open shelving here, your racks. This is your chef's kitchen. And in my opinion, it's probably the best we've ever seen. Like I said earlier, this is definitely uh, could be used as a commercial kitchen and feed you know hundreds of people easily easily we talked about the parties right yeah i almost forgot we have the wine cellar here located right next to your chef's kitchen all open shelving with led lighting temperature controlled it's nice and cool here yeah and they have a really interesting kind of colored light in there they do let's close the door continue our tour following the hallway we have these double doors opening up to the garage it's located on the subterranean level. You can park up to 12 cars here if needed. We got a really nice Bentley and a Porsche. And over here, we have the main garage door that is on the subterranean level. Again, connecting the motor court with a driveway and it brings you down here. If you look right across, we have additional staff quarters on the other side. Overall, another great space located on this level. And I wanna bring everybody right here, Mikey, because these doors open up to the nightclub. This space is phenomenal. I have never seen a room like this ever before. I mean, look at the scale of this nightclub and the details here, this LED lit staircase, the dance floor here with the checkered pattern and back lighting. Then you have all these built-in table setups throughout, again, back lit, custom sofas throughout. You have VIP sections, textures on the wall, oval LED light detail around us. Your bar setup that's also backlit with your open shelves for your spirits. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, this is really nice. And all of these lights in here are totally customizable. I set it on the purple theme because it just felt right. It, feel, it matches the vibe. It just feels right, yeah. Absolutely, I mean, they can have up to 150 people here, Mikey. And it's crazy. Like, it doesn't feel like a cheesy seating section, you know? It feels like a proper nightclub. Yeah. You're secluded, you have no windows, you have fiber optic lighting here and there. Uh, you have two massive screens, your bar setup, and also off of the entry, you have a hallway taking you to the bathrooms for the nightclub as well. And going here, of course, no proper nightclub is complete without a DJ booth, and we have it here. This is where you control all the lighting and all that. And you may think that's it for the lower level. It's not, because we have this door opening up to the movie theater. We have three tier seating, plush carpet on the floors, padded walls, massive screen behind me with 4K projector. You have Dolby Atmos surround sound throughout. And I love these electric recliner chairs with the patterns on the side. And even on the walls, they have LED lighting, vertical lines that really give proportion to the space. Overall, great movie theater. And that's pretty much it for the ground level. Now let's go back to the staircase and check out the second floor.
everyone. Here we are on the second floor. I wanted to showcase everyone one more time. This is the glass elevator that we have. And here we are at the landing. Beautiful natural stone floors. We got a massive skylight above us, bringing natural light to the landing of the second floor. We have the primary bedroom suite on my left hand side. But first, I want to take everybody here off of the landing. We got this spacious seating area built-ins on the wall with a curved TV, nice seating set up here, chandelier in the center of this room, and on the other side you have additional seating. But more importantly, Mikey, we have this door here, opening up to a balcony on the second floor, and let's check out the views from this angle. First off, we have this hand-painted ceiling details over here on the cover section, and it looks down on your pond, and your amazing pool area. And of course, that's your Mediterranean view right there with the seas, people are sailing out on their boats. This is phenomenal, the fresh air coming in here. This property is truly spectacular. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, there's very, there's, there's absolutely nothing to complain about. Amazing, right? And this pond in the backyard, I mean, it's phenomenal. All right, let's go back in my key, continue our tour. Now, this seating area, transitions into this section, connects to the hallway. We got another landing here, and that door leads us to the kids' bedrooms. But first, I wanna take everybody here. You actually have another dining area on the second floor and a small kitchenette. Well, I say small, but I mean, it's definitely good size. You have bar seating here. This one is also all La Corneille. You have your espresso maker, microwave, cabinetry, and continuing here, we have this light blue turquoise blue and green contrasting stove assembly. In my opinion, this frame here is one of the most exquisite kitchen layouts and textures I've ever seen in my life. I love this. I love this copper inlaid frame details. Again, old La Corneille, you have your induction. There are pot racks here, finishes, granite countertops, this band design around this vent. I mean, is it me or this kitchen here looks so exquisite and so chic? It's like really, it's like a really beautiful kitchen, but it's kind of playful at the same time, you know? I know, it has color to it. In my opinion, it looks very French, actually. Yeah. It looks very uh, kind of entertaining and definitely young and energetic. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody back to the landing again. A lot of walking in this house, by the way. I know these hallways are taking forever, but the scale in this house is pretty amazing. Now, we have this door opening up to another seating area dedicated for the bedrooms that we're gonna see on this wing. I wanna give credit to the designer of this home, Koshi Matt. I think they did a phenomenal job. All the custom furniture, inlay designs, details of this home. We, without a doubt, I think they did phenomenal. Although everything looks kinda timeless, keep in mind, again, this house was completed only a few years ago. Everything is brand new. No one has ever lived in this house. Yeah, it's uh, pretty incredible. Pretty can't, incredible, can't right? can't imagine being able to live here. I, this is phenomenal. We have the seating section here. I love this couch setup, TV on the other side, multiple tables, built-ins on the other side, and Mikey, going through here, we have the first bedroom facing the front of the property, good size, has two twin beds, and around the corner, we have a full bathroom with a walk-in shower. And going to the other side, we have the second bedroom, this one is facing the back of the property, king size bed, and we have the full bathroom around the corner. This door right here opens up to the third bedroom that I wanna take everybody in. Again, built-in closets, hardware, everything looks stunning. And we go into the bedroom itself. This one comes with the two single beds. And again, the furnishings, the details, hardwood floors with the pattern, vaulted ceilings, chandelier. Every room has its own personality. Every detail is so well thought out. Now, this one is facing the backyard and the amazing views. And we have the bathroom here. You got your built-in tub, walk-in shower with a rain head. We have inlays on the floors. Now, getting out of this bathroom and continuing our tour, we got one more guest suite or kids room on this wing. We're gonna check that out. Let me bring everybody back to the seating area. By the way, the seating section is facing the front of the property. And the last bedroom starts right here. On the hallway, we have all these built-in closets, and we have a door here opening up to the bathroom. Pretty much same finishes, built-in top setup, and we have these natural stone walls going all the way into the water closet, walk-in shower, and the vanity set up here with a gorgeous sink. Now, last bedroom. I know we have seen a lot of bedrooms. This one has 
king size bed setup, a lot of these purple tones, another beautiful cabinet here with a pop-up TV. Again, Juliet balconies facing the amazing backyard and the incredible Mediterranean views. Now, that's it for this wing. I wanna take everybody back to the landing so we can continue our tour with the primary bedroom. Off of the landing, on the right-hand side, we have these double doors opening up to the primary bedroom suite hallway, skylight above us, and these double doors open up to the bedroom itself. Beautiful parquet hardwood floors throughout. Room is extremely spacious. We have the seating area on this side and all these exquisite details throughout with the wall paneling, molding detail, and right in the center, we have this dome ceiling design with a hand-painted fresco. And if you look closely, you can actually see the fiber optic lighting throughout the ceiling as well, with a chandelier right in the center. Room is extremely exquisite. We have another seating area here with some built-in bookshelves and to keep the room elegant and timeless, but yet bring the technology. Right inside of this dresser, we have a pop-up TV that is facing your California king-size bed. I said California king-size bed, but I don't know if it's actually bigger than that. Certainly a good-sized bed setup here. Yeah, I don't know if there's a European king-size bed. That was a dumb joke, but uh, I really like, and I know this probably wasn't planned, that the pool reflects off the ceiling. So you get this really cool light in here in the late afternoon. I mean, the details in this house, right? That's just one detail we you just captured. And there are so many. We're almost like doing this tour kind of in a bit of a hurry because this thing is so big. It's a little overwhelming. It is overwhelming. Yeah. And Mikey, we have to point this out. All these French doors open up to Juliet balconies where you can look down on your incredible backyard. Now, let's continue our tour. This primary bedroom suite is truly stunning. We have this hallway here, and on the door on my left-hand side, opens up the half bathroom with a urinal and a bidet, and we have a vanity set up here. Going back out to the hallway, right across, we have an additional seating area or an office set up. This goes either direction. You have all these French doors bringing a ton of natural light. Another ceiling detail here with a chandelier, TV on this side, and now let's get back to the hallway. Now, there are a couple more rooms that we're gonna tour. Starting here, we have the first walk-in closet. Beautiful vertical LED lighting, open shelving for the most part. We have a couple drawers, good sized room. And getting back out, I know there are a lot of rooms I'm going in and out. We have the primary bathroom suite here. Starting on this side, we got this gorgeous walk-in shower here with beautiful natural stone floors, walls that have been book matched and right above, this might be the biggest rain head we've ever seen on this channel. I swear, they get bigger and bigger like every house we tour. I know, that one looks stunning. Now, Michael, let's take everybody here. Talking about attention to detail, look at the floors for a second. The inlay details here. Um, this is truly one of a kind. I've never seen a bathroom like this. Right in the center, with this columned design, we have the Jetta tub, chrome fixtures throughout, Great tub setup, and right next to that, we have the double vanities here, natural stone countertops, and the backsplash, upper cabinets. And over here, we have another door opening up to another water closet with a vanity. Now, let's go to the room next door, which is your massage room. You have a salon chair. I mean, the amenities, the rooms in this house, it keeps giving, right? And I wanna stay here because right next to us, we have an additional walk-in closet space, pretty spacious facing the front of the property. So you have two closets accompanying primary bedroom suite. Now, Mikey, let's go outside because this is a really interesting view that you get from this property. We are at the second floor, front facing balconies, looking at the views on the back. I don't know if everybody can see it. You actually have these beautiful mountains, obviously, it's super quiet and tranquil up here. All these trees, this is mostly part of your property. It's amazing, that's your helipad down there. I mean, what can I say? Without a doubt, one of the most beautiful properties we've ever toured on this channel.
All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. Without a doubt, one of the most beautiful properties we have ever toured on this channel. And I really want to thank the listing brokerage, Margaret and Sons, for getting us in here, allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And as always, you can find more information about the property and the property link down in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed this tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.